Okay, and now we're going to move on to experiment eight, which is putting the aerodynamic wing to the test. The aerodynamic wing is the one that we just made. So we're going to need eight anchor pins, and we're going to need two large frames, four small frames. We're going to need two shaft plugs, and we're also going to need some string, some glue, and the hair dryer. And you're also going to need two long rods. And you might also want to have some tape nearby. So we're going to start by making this setup in the image. So we're going to take a long frame and we're going to stick two anchor pins on the end of it. And we're going to stick those into a short frame. And the other side is also going to go into a short frame. Then we're going to stick another long frame. We're going to put two more anchor pins onto the end right here and stick those into the top of this short frame and then stick this side into the other short frame. And then we're going to add the two last short frames on the top right here. And we're going to put one anchor pin in the second hole from the end, right here. Like this. And we're going to put another one on the other side in the same place. So, leaving the corner hole empty, put it right here. And now we're going to add the two long rods onto this setup. So, the first long rod on this side we want to make sure that the side with the hole farther from the end, so not this side, but this side, is facing up. And we are going to stick the shaft pin, anchor pin, sorry, into that first hole on the end. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So on the end hole. And once those are in, we're going to take some string. We can cut somewhat of a long piece so you have some room. And first we're going to actually put the two shaft plugs in. So they should be in the second and third holes on the outside. So right here and right here. Okay, and then we can tie the string to one of them. Let's tie the string to this one for now. So just tie it however you can. Okay, and once it's tied right there, you're going to send it through this hole. You're going to leave one hole empty, send it through. So once you have it through the hole, you're going to send it through the aerodynamic wing. You want the flatter side to be on the bottom and the curved side to be facing towards you. So I'm going to put the string through it and then through the hole on the opposite long rod. So again, one, two, three, four, five, the fifth hole in. Okay, and then through the hole closest to the end, right here. Then through the other side of the wing. And then through the last hole. And then tie it again, once again, around this shaft plug. Okay, then we're going to tilt the long rods up a little bit. Let's tilt them slightly upwards. And now we can blow at this with the hair dryer. So in the manual it says to put the hair dryer in something, like a mug, so that you can keep your hands free. I'm just going to hold the hair dryer for now and blow at it so we can see what happens. We can also try it at different angles just to see what happens. So let's raise the rods even more.
and let's lower the rods flat and see how that affects it. But either way, you can see how the air lifts the wing, and that's how you can test an aerodynamic wing. Okay, and now we're gonna do experiment number nine, which is streamline on the aerodynamic wing. So what we're gonna do is use the same setup as the last experiment, but we're gonna add a small piece of yarn to the very front edge of our aerodynamic wing with a little bit of glue, and then attach this piece of yarn to it. And now we're gonna see what happens when we blow at it with the hair dryer. So it looks like the string is really going in the same direction as the wing. It's moving around a little, but it's really going in that same direction. Okay, and now we're gonna move on to experiment number 10 which is streamline on a panel. So first we're gonna have to take the aerodynamic wing off of here. So just pull the string back through the holes and we can take our aer aerodynamic wing off. And we're gonna need another piece of cardboard that's about the size of a postcard. We're gonna fold it in half Okay. It doesn't have to be completely taut. It should actually sag just a little bit. And so from the back, you can glue this together. So now you can get your glue. Put some glue down here. And then glue the paper in half like this. If your glue isn't that strong, you can even put some tape around the edges. Okay, so now we have this shape. It's a flat panel, which is different than our aerodynamic wing. And once again, we're gonna stick a small piece of yarn on the front edge with a little bit of glue and see what happens. So you can see the string is kind of flailing around because of the turbulence, and it doesn't look like the panel is getting that much lift. 